Hello and welcome to my channel. I've been doing a ton of wrap ups lately and you're in luck because I have another one for you today. These are all of the books I read last week and uh, the end of the week before last. It's getting into summertime so I'm really starting my reading and I started off with this uh, little comic of Bob's Burgers that I got in the Geek Fuel box a couple of months ago. I really enjoyed it. Bob's Burgers is so funny and I think I'm gonna pick up the rest of them because I really enjoyed it. Tina is so funny and they had some of her friend fic in here. It was fantastic. Next I read Mortal Heart by Robin Lefevers. This is the second in the His Fair Assassins trilogy and it's told through a different perspective from the first one. I read the first one maybe last summer and I'm just getting around to picking up this one and I thought that that was going to be a huge problem except that it's told through a different narrator and some of it is the same events as the first book so it gives you kind of a catch up on that but it adds more of this particular character's backstory and then it goes further in the events. I really liked that dual storytelling and it was just enough different from the original book to where it wasn't bothersome that you were going through some of the same events. I gave it a 4 out of 5. I really like these characters and the fact that they are young women training to be assassins is amazing. Next I read Gotham Academy Volume 1. Gotham Academy is set in the world of Batman, more specifically in Gotham, but even more specifically at Gotham Academy, which is this boarding school for young children in Gotham that the Wayne Foundation funds. And this episode follows Olive, who is a young student there who just got back from a very interesting summer and is trying to piece her life together after some strange occurrences with her mom. And in the middle of this is thrust to be the kind of campus big sister of her ex-boyfriend's little sister, Maps. Maps was really fun. She was young and naive and all ready for adventure at all times. The art in this was really strong. A lot of bold colors as I turn to the page that's black and white. Um, and we get small cameos from Batman. The story really is Olive's own story, trying to figure out what's happening at Gotham Academy. I gave it a four out of five. Next, I finally finished 172 Hours on the Moon by Johan, Har Johan Harstead. I originally started this a couple of months back and put it down because I was getting creeped out. And when I picked it back up, I remembered why I was so creeped out. It is such a creepy book. It tells the story of these three teens who enter this contest to go on the moon and stay there for 172 hours. But of course, as soon as they get there, craziness starts to happen. It's creepy and haunting. And if you're a fan of horror, but not goriness, then you'll really like this. It gave me goosebumps the whole last third. I gave it a four out of five. Next, I read the graphic novelization of Orphan Black. I am in love with the Orphan Black TV show. Sarah Manning is my style icon, and I love everything about her and this show. And Tatiana Maslany, I think is how you say her name, is fantastic. But this graphic novel doesn't expand on the first season arc very much at all. I mean, you're getting a little backstory on some of the clones, which is cool, but it mostly just tells the story that's happening in the first season. And the art really isn't that good. Most times, I don't think that the clones look anything alike, and they certainly don't look like the television. Televis the character in the TV show. I will probably pick up the next one in the series, but I only gave this one a 3 out of 5. Next I read Waistcoats and Weaponry by Gail Carriger, which is the third in the Finishing School series. I've talked about this series a lot because I love it. It's so fun. It's about these young girls in Victorian time who get sent to this finishing school only along with learning to become right proper ladies. They're also learning how to become assassins. If you haven't learned, I love assassins apparently. Sophronia and Dimity are one of my favorite best friend pairings. They work with each other really well and they're fun and it has such great steampunk elements. I do hear that there are only four. That means I've only got one left to read. And that's a little sad for me because I think that their story is really, really interesting. I gave it a five out of five. I really, really loved it. And the last book I read was Amulet of Volume 2 by Kara Kazu Kabushki. Maybe that's how you say it, but probably not. I got this volume over a year ago when he came and did a signing in, around where I live. And it's really very cool. It tells a story of two siblings who get sent to this magical land to help their mother who is got some mysterious disease, and they're meeting all of the creatures of this land. Not to mention the fact that the art is just beautiful. I gave it a 4 out of 5, and I'll definitely be picking up the next one really soon. Okay guys, that's it. All of the books that I have read lately, um, but it's getting summertime, and you know that there are going to be a ton of these coming up because I read like crazy during the summertime. Don't forget to like and subscribe for new videos every Thursday. Thanks! Like a, like a, like a bullet train.